What's going on everybody? I'm Primal Liquid and welcome back to my 100% walkthrough for Grandia. We're on part number 29 right now and we just got the best boy. Like seriously, this this character's awesome. At least personality wise he is. Anyway, like gameplay wise he's he's not that bad, you know. He, he's a little he's a little behind because of the grinding we've done, but his personality more than makes up that. He is freaking hilarious. And we're also kind of going to grind him in a little bit anyway, so it doesn't matter that he's, you know, a little a little behind. That's perfectly fine. Anyway, 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 anyway. There is actually going to be something that I'm going to show off to you guys right now. And that is in the Virgin Forest 4 area. There is actually something, uh, well I say something, there is something special. There is a unique mob in here, in fact let's just turn, uh, uh, we'll put play fair on Justin and Fina and then we'll control rap manually. Yeah we'll do that. But yeah there's something special in Virgin Forest 4, okay. What is here is actually a, well it's basically a special mob. So there are two monsters in this game which are effectively amazing for grinding on the one that's in this area is going to be for you know grinding grinding gold and things like that and the next one is going to be you know for actual like levels and things like that but that one's going to be you know a little a little ways away so I'm going to show you guys now about the actual uh, the actual gold one. Now I myself do not need to farm gold. I've I have more than enough from you know that big massive grind I did in Typhoon Tower. So I personally don't need any gold. So I'm not going to farm it myself. Instead, I'm just going to show you guys how to farm it. So obviously we just came up here, which is from Virgin Forest 3, where the save point is. Remember that save point because once you beat these monsters, you are gonna have to go back to the save point, save, and then reload your save to respawn them. Okay, just changing screen won't do anything. And there they are. Come here, you come here, come here. No, I got ambushed. Yeah, unfortunately, these monsters will run away from you, okay? You can still get them, like that's like it's not that hard to still get them in a fight. It can just be a little annoying at times though, unfortunately. But these will just continuously drop huge, huge, huge amounts of gold. Okay, like a seriously huge amount of gold. Uh, actually wait, is this the alligator? No, this is the chameleon, isn't it? Yeah, this is, this is the chameleon. Hmm, oh well. Uh, well. That just means we can get an armor. Like we can, we can get an armor. This is still the uh, the gold dropper. That, oh, he ran off. God damn it. Well, we'll just give the gold potion to anybody. Right. So in this little section here, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah. Sorry about my voice, guys. Like I, if you don't know, I had a cold last week while I was on holiday. I'm not quite completely over it. It sort of moved onto like a chesty cough. So I've been having a little bit of issues with that. Right. First things first. These chameleons are incredibly good for uh, for actual gold now each individual one right will drop 600 gold so that means right now with four of them that's 2400 gold and again you know you can just you can just farm them all day long if you really want to once you beat them just go back save reload your save and you're done basically in fact let's use a fire whip why not Let's just go ahead and murder them quickly. But yeah, so if you if you want gold, farm here. Now there are going to be some uh, some shops later with, you know, some some rather expensive things in them. So having having some gold is going to be you know very very beneficial. But for now, it's you know it's not all that important. I would say maybe. Oh, wait, no. They're taking, like, no damage. I thought it was the alligator. Are these the ones that give good weapon XP? Can't be, right? Hang on, let's, let's see what happens here. I shouldn't be gaining that much EXP from these. But I am for some reason. Oh my god, wait, is this the actual... Wait, so what's the next one? Hmm? 100 million degrees. 
<clears throat> yeah, so hang on. If this one's giving me huge amounts of EXP, then what's the next one give me? Because that one should just be gold. Huh? Yeah, I'm... Like, that was 64.32. I'm gaining full EXP from these. Wait, so what's the next mob give me? Oh my god, what does the next mob give me? I can't remember what the next mob is. Uh... Right, okay, um... Where are we? Okay, so what do I need? Uh, I need to get that up to level 10. Yeah, I need to get fire up to level 10 for wrap. That's... weird. That's really weird. Hmm... Okay... Well, I guess... Oh, I can't use Dragon Cut anymore. RIP. Uh, well, it is magic that doesn't really... Actually, is it magic or sword attacks that don't do much? Let me just attack with Justin. Okay, it's magic that doesn't do much to these. Right, and that... Okay, I can't use Fire Whip either. Oh, I should have just gone back and uh, saved. I'll tell you what... Let's put Justin on withdraw and Fiend on withdraw. I can't really do much with them with no SP, so we'll sort of leave them to the side for now. I'm out of boon flame as well. Crap. Oh man. So hang on, what's the Okay, you know what? While while this fight's going on, I'm gonna quickly search some Fiend. It's like uh, this should not be... Uh, hang on, something weird's going on right now, man. Something really weird's going on. Hmm. What does the next one give me, then? Like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think what the next one gives me. Oh, wait, no, it's normal EXP, isn't it? Yeah, it's the next one's normal EXP. Mm. Right, so it is chameleons that I need to farm. Whoops. Uh, shit. When do I lose access to Virgin Forest? Can I actually go to the next area? Oh no, that's kind of that's actually kind of screwed me a little. That, that has actually kind of screwed me. Um. Hmm. Okay, I need to I need to find out when I lose access to this area Because that's gonna be annoying In fact, you know what? Let me just murder these. Yeah, let me let me just murder them I'll go back to the save point heal up and things like that cuz there's still one more uh, Yeah, we'll just use side for a why not might as well <coughs> Right, so that is the one that I need to farm shit. Okay, so I got I got the areas mixed up then Hmm. Well, in that case, let's just... Let's murder these off. Alright, we'll, we'll murder these off. I'm gonna quickly look when I lose access to this. In fact, no, because I can, I can have my saves if need be. So it's not going to be the end of the world. Um, yeah, so, right, what, what I'm gonna do is... We're gonna go to the next zone. I'm gonna get something that I need. And then we're going to come back, I think. Yeah, that, that should be fine. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. Why did I think it was the other one, though? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, well, it's fine. But yeah, we need to use uh, magic element attacks on the chameleons just so they don't die that easily. Right, first things first. Let me go and heal. I think there's still one more set of chameleons there. So we'll go, we'll go recover, we'll regenerate the SP. But yeah, the chameleons are the ones that you actually want to use for leveling weapons and magic. So when I say weapons and magic, I mean you kind of have to rely on uh, like abilities like fire whip and that, and dragon cut. The reason for that is just normal weapon moves, they're not like resistant to or anything like that, so you will pretty much just murder them really, really easily. Whereas with Dragon Cut and Fire Whip, because they have magic elements in them, then they're actually going to be resistant and you'll still gain like the full, you know, the full whack of EXP, pretty much. 
So that's why you want to use them, just so they survive longer and you can get more uses in. Same with Rap, we're going to get his fire to level 10 because that will give us a move called Fireball. And then with that, you know, we can, we can start leveling Rap up as well. Ideally, I would like to level his knife and his sword first, rather than his throw, because the throw will actually give him extra strength, which we don't really want right now. But it's not the end of the world, and it does make leveling his fire super, super easy. We do also lose access to this area eventually as well. So we want to try and... We want to try and get as many levels as we can here, basically. There they are. Come here, you. Come here. Don't disappear. There we go. But yeah, so what we want to do is we want to get as many levels as we can here, unfortunately. But, as I said, I'm going to come back to this area. So, don't worry. This video is not going to be just pure grinding. Do not worry on that one. See, I kind of wish I had something better there. I do need to give Rap a new uh, accessory anyway. I need to give him a Tree God Amulet just so his SP costs are reduced. So what we'll do is, I think I'll have Fina use Fire Whip. Yeah, we'll have Fina use Fire Whip on them. Uh, where are we? Tactics, put Fina on manual. There we go. So what I would normally do here is I would just sort of spam Fire Whip and Dragon Cut. But because, you know, I don't have everything I need just yet for this, because I kind of got, uh, that's why we're going to come back here later. Oh, I only got two of them, really? And one of them didn't even take damage. God damn it. It also doesn't help that majorly spread out right now, which really does not help at all. Uh, let me try it on him. I might be able to get all three here. Nope, only got two still. God damn it. Right, let's get another burn flame. I'm really hoping this gives me another fire level. Because I only need, I think, two more fire levels for burn flare. And then I just need three more for fireball. Okay, well, there's another fire level. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to dragon cut with Justin. It's like it probably won't kill him, but it will still give Justin a nice amount of EXP. That and with Justin's sword being level 32 now, like, that is, that is nearly done. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> but, we're not going to worry about his sword, because now that that's 32... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Hang on one second, guys. Sorry about this. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Little, uh, little choking session. As I say, like, I'm not completely over my, my chesty cough, you know? It is still getting me a little bit. Yeah, let's just use Hell Slash with Fina. It's like, we might as well at least get some EXP from it. But yeah, this is the one good thing about the Chameleons. It is very good for EXP. Like, I'm not going to use another Hell Slash now. Let's just leave Fina alone there. And we'll actually show you guys just how much EXP she got from that one Hell Slash. Oh, the other two are nearly dead, unfortunately. That kind of sucks, so I'm not going to Dragon Cut, actually. And we're also not going to have Fina do anything. I'm just going to defend with Fina. Mm, actually, then again, I can use a fire attack. Might as well. Never mind, she got cancelled. Okay. Right, let's see how much she XP. Now, she should get 32 Windy XP for that. Yeah, there you go, 32. So, the Chameleons, essentially, when you're using an AoE spell like that, it will give you full EXP per... You know, like, per hit, pretty much. So, because we got, like, because Hell Slash hit four enemies, we got 80 XP a hit. So, that's, like, 8 times 4, 32. That's why the Chameleons are so, so good for leveling. Because you'll just keep getting full EXP like that. It doesn't matter what level you are, you will get full EXP. All right, let's go heal, actually. Whoops, where am I? I'm lost! Where am I? Hang on. Right, there's the big area, so up and to the right and then down. There we go. But yeah, so that's why this area is so freaking good for leveling because I don't know if it's intentional or if the chameleon enemies are bugged, okay? I have no idea which of the two it is, but they will always give full EXP, which just makes it like the king grinding spot. It's a shame there are only three fights then. You do have to, you know, go and go and reload. 
which does kind of hinder the progress. But it also is freaking amazing. And they can drop an armor called the Chameleon Armor. And that armor is better than anything we have at the moment. Now, you can buy the Chameleon Armor in the next town. So, if you don't actually get any drops, like, don't, don't worry about it, okay? It's not the end of the world if you do not get any drops. You can always get more. Although, there are also... There are also a few more Chameleons around here as well. Um, but they're going to be all the way over on the left side of the arena. Now, I personally... I personally do not think it is worth it to, you know, do both sets of chameleons before you save and reload, simply due to the fact you have to run all the way through, basically. So what I would suggest doing is if you are going to farm the chameleons, farm the first set, kill them, go back to the save point, save, reload, go back, farm the first set, and then go back and save and reload again. You know, just, just ignore the second set of chameleons. Simply due to the fact they are, like, miles away. It's not worth the actual run through. So, yeah, just, just kind of blank them for now, to be honest. All right, let's get the gold and we can move on. Oh, man, I can't believe I got them mixed up. Like, I actually cannot believe I got them so mixed up like that. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. I just need... Oh, I need to remember when I lose access to this area. That's That's the big one. Uh, when I lose on, let me, you know what, let's, let's Google it, let's Google it. Energy Forest lost access. I just can't remember when you lose access here. Uh, do, 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 do. Hang on. Uh, where is it? It doesn't tell me. Like, I'm on the wiki right now and I can't find out where. Like, I have, I have an idea. Of where I lose access to it, but I can't be a hundred percent sure of which one it is. Um, shit. Um, right, you know what? We're gonna have to keep a save here. I I will keep a save here just because I don't know when we lose access to it. It's like I do. I have a few guesses of where it is. I'm just not 100% sure which one of those guesses is right. I'm hoping, I'm hoping right now it's the first guess, but I honestly can't be sure. Like, it's been, it's been a while since I've done this grind, okay? It's been quite a while since I've done this grind. Right, uh, we got the gold, so let's move on now. <coughs> Excuse me. When you get to the middle here with these two, like, huge flowers, use this as a waymark, okay? Use this as a waymark. And what I would suggest doing as well is turn your compass, right, so that your red bit is to the left, okay? It just makes navigating this area easier because it is a giant area and that's kind of the only waymark you have. So it just makes life simple. We're going to grab the gold bag. We're going to go a little further up for another gold bag, but then we're actually going to go back over to the right for an item. Now, I could, I could have grabbed the other item first, but since, you know, we go to the flowers to set our positioning, so to speak, I find it just easier to pick them up there. Let's just boon flame, actually, so I hit all three of them. As long as I can get this off. There we go. I actually need to change wraps uh, equipment as well, don't I? Whoops. Well, I can do that in a minute anyway, it's fine. Not bad, I'm eh? hoping Rap's gonna get another fire level in a minute, though. I mean, I could... Could, could, could... Use Gadwin's fire magic booster on him. But... <clears throat> and this is a big but. But, not the good kind of big but, though, unfortunately. This is a big but. There is a, like, Rap has the fireball attack, which makes it super, super easy to level his fire spell, right? There is going to be a character later that, unfortunately, does not have a super easy way to level fire. So it is going to be better to save all the fire boosting EXP that we have 
for that character. We have 33 levels from Sue, and about 20 levels from, well, about 15 to 20 levels from Gadwin. So straight off the bat, that's near 50 levels right there. Which means with this other character, we'd only have to actually gain like 20 levels with her. Uh, which is rather easy, actually, considering her magic starts around level 20. We'd only need to gain around 20 levels. And then we could use all these EXP boosting items to just straight up take us up to level 99, basically. So that's why we're actually going to be saving them. Even though, yes, it would make life easier with wrap, we're still not going to. All right, there's the gold. Okay, find the map waypoint, and you see how it goes down a little to the bottom left there? There is an item down here, and this is also the second area where you can find the chameleons. So, you know, if you do if you do want to fight more, go ahead. Me, personally, I'm not going to, you know, we're just gonna, we're gonna murder them for all time's sake. Uh, and then we're, we're gonna move on. I have the save from before, which is gonna be sort of like my my backup save you know what I mean it's my emergency save for when we lose access to this zone it's like I'm hoping I'm hoping that we don't lose access to it for a little while I'm hoping it's like I do I think it's gonna be after the next quote-unquote dungeon we lose access to here but I can't be a hundred percent sure. It's like we we might lose access to it before that, unfortunately. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. So it's gonna be. Mm, mm. Well, well, we'll we'll figure it out, I guess. Yeah, we'll we'll figure it out. It's fine. Magic seed. One max MP. Um, I mean, Justin and Fina are definitely gonna hit cap on their level three, I imagine. So let's use Tom Rap just to make life a little bit easier for now with him. Right, come on, chameleons, where are you? There they are, top left and bottom left. So we'll go for the bottom left ones first. See, you just gotta, you just gotta plan this out, guys. You just gotta plan it out. The only problem is now, though, I don't have any burn flame, so I'd have to use just burn, which is going to suck. Take that. Oh, well, it's fine. I do nearly have fireball for here. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, my God, this goddamn cough. It's like all that's annoying about this cough, right, is the fact it impacts me talking. You know, that, that is the whole annoying thing about this cough. It doesn't hurt or anything like that. It's just like a, a chesty cough. So don't worry guys, you don't need to wish me like wild wishes in the comments or anything like that. I'm not dying, I promise. <laughs> oh man. Alright, so I still need 40, uh, 60 XP of wrap. Um, that will give him fireball though, right? Yeah, that will give him fireball. Which is what I really, really, really want. Uh, I do need to level up his other weapons as well. Hmm. So what I might do is I think I'm going to use his other weapons first. So equip. Black Belt can come off. Uh, we'll put Chain Gem on. And where's Justin? Let's take the Odd Hat off for the Swallow Hat. Rap can have Odd Hat on just so he like moves quicker and then we'll give him the gust knife which is a wind attribute so rap should barely do any damage here should all right let me just turn these off uh fina well we don't really need to do anything for fina do we other than like earth magic so what i might do is i might have fina on manual yeah, I might, I might have Fina on manual. She still needs to get speedy. Uh, I'm going to have Justin use freeze, actually. Where is he? Freeze. Let's just completely slow down the alligators and wrap you attack. Let's see how much damage this does. 
Because this could potentially allow me to just like autoplay my way through a bunch of levels. No, freeze doesn't work. And Rap's not doing damage, that's no good. Oh, I'm going to need to buy weapons, unfortunately. Right, well, let's just fire whip, I guess. Might as well. Fire whip and dragon cut. Unfortunately, my characters are still doing, like, no damage. Which is kind of a shame. You basically, you basically want, for these chameleons, enough damage to just inflict, like, three or four damage. You know what I mean? You don't want to go overboard on the damage where you basically, like, two-shot them. As long as you're doing just a few damage, that's all you want to do. Because that way you can get more hits out, which means more EXP. Shame Freeze didn't work, though. Freeze would have been great on them. Oh, well. Well, this ain't gonna kill him, but it should give me another level. Nope. Okay, I guess. I guess not. I still can't use Burn Flame. Ugh. Feels bad, man. Right, let's see if I can hit both the chameleons there. I probably can't, but it's worth a try. Just a shame Rap can't actually hit them with his knife. Although... I could take off Justin's sword, and I can give him that to start leveling. That might work. Yeah, that, that might do it for me. Oh, there we go, more, more sword levels. See what I mean? This, this is so easy to level. It's like 192, that was two levels we gained there. Fina doing not too bad either, actually. Alright, first things first. Let me change their weapons. Uh, we'll put the sickle back on. Justine's got more than enough attack. Rap. Uh, you can have the fish sword. That should be enough now to actually let him start dealing damage. Oh, what levels is Justin on? 34, 25, 26. So we don't actually need any more sword levels for now. What we're going to do is we're going to get Axe up to level 30. And then we're going to stop leveling the axe pretty much entirely for a while. <coughs> Excuse me. The axe is basically going to be the last one we level for Justin. And we're going to get mace up to 99 here, basically. Sword will probably get up, you know, quite, quite a bit. But axe is going to be the last one. That way we'll end up with 99 fire, 99 earth. And then we just need to work on Justin's wind magic, which we will also be doing here just because like it is by far the easiest place to level justin so what we're gonna do is we are going to get justin to 99 across the board basically yes it is gonna make him like ridiculously op but time wise it's actually not that bad like it's it's really not that slow all things considered to do it here um we could we could do it later with Justin when we get, you know, like the uh, the double EXP item for him, the accessory, which would, again, you know, obviously double his EXP. The only problem is, in order to properly right, level we there, we'd have to wait until basically the very end of the game for that. Now, and we are gonna actually be having, oh, the thing has disappeared. We are gonna have another character at that point who we do actually need to just like level magic with basically leveling their weapon to 99 is mega easy like that's that's no effort at all but their magic unfortunately does take quite a bit of time that's why we're saving all the uh, the exp books for her and why she's pretty much gonna have the double magic like exp item equipped pretty much the whole time that's why ideally I don't really want to do other characters later when I have, well, when I'm leveling here and that. Plus, we do need to get ready for Tower of Temptation, unfortunately. So we are gonna have to, we are gonna have to do a grind here on the chameleons. It's like there's, there's no two ways about it. If I wasn't doing Tower of Temptation as early as possible, I, I wouldn't need to grind here at all. But, because we are doing it as early as possible, unfortunately, we are going to have to grind. It's just, you know, an unfortunate situation. Because it is very much 
an endgame dungeon, basically, okay? There, there's no two ways about it. It's basically an endgame dungeon. The fights in there, well, the bosses in there are harder than the final boss. Kinda. I suppose to a degree. And yeah, they're about equal. But yeah, that's that's why we're gonna have to grind here because you know we're only on disc two. Well, we're only at the start of disc two, and we haven't exactly uh, got access to any of the cool OP equipment yet. We will soon though, when these chameleons finally step out of the trees. Chameleons, there they are. Come here, you. Come here. Ah! This is why I hate chameleons, man. It's it can be so annoying to get into fights with these. Oh, I hear them, but I don't see them. Where are they? Chameleons. They're really hiding from me, huh? This is also one of the reasons I don't like using this set of chameleons. They hide a lot more. Alright, so let's do this fight and then we can move on to the next area. Right, okay. Uh, Justin, I don't want you to do anything just yet. So, uh, let's put Justin on manual. Fina on manual. In fact, no, Justin on withdrawal. There we go. Okay, Fina, my lovely, you need to use a digging. And Rap, my good man, you need to attack. As long as Rap does damage here, we're gonna be okay. It's like if he does damage, I can literally just stick him on play fair and just leave that going until the fight's over. Well, there's Wow. Okay, I'm doing damage with Rapper now. Brilliant. That's all that's all I need. So that right there is 24 weapon EXP we just got for Rap, okay? Alright, what other spells do I have? Do I have speedy yet? No, I do not have speedy. Shit. Okay. Uh Blocks Magic. No, we don't need to care about that. I mean I could use WoW on Rap to give him a little more strength, but I don't want to do that. Instead, we are literally just going to spam digging Please with Fina. And then on Rap's next turn, I'm going to put him automatically on play fair. Because then Rap's going to automatically attack for us. And, you know, just do his do his leveling on his own. And then Justine, well, he's just going to defend, basically. Uh, tactic. No, tactic. What's going on? There we go. That was weird. Right, uh, Rap, you're on play fair, buddy. There we go. Right, so now Rap's gonna do all the murdering for us. Fina's gonna start leveling her Earth a little bit. Please Don't really want to go too hardcore on Fina's Earth magic here. And to be fair, it would actually be quicker if I use Tremor here instead of digging. But again, I don't really want to. I don't really want to kill them. You know. Actually, then again. Venus Tremor probably wouldn't do all that much damage. But I also wouldn't hit too many of them. But it would still be quicker. Because Digging's only giving me 3 XP per character, so I'm getting 9 there. Whereas Tremor, even if I hit just 2, it would be more EXP. Let's let's see. Let's see. Just see how this goes. So like the big one is seeing how much damage they actually get done to them. Hmm. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna spam Tremor. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, we're gonna spam Tremor just to get some initial Earth levels, and then we'll slowly move on. Rap might actually kill that one, and the other one moved out of the way. God damn it. Well, at least I hit the top two. Did I hit the top one? <coughs> I don't think I hit the top one there. I think I only hit one enemy. I did, I only had one enemy. That was a giant waste. Oh well, what can you do? It's not the end of the world. <clears throat> At least there's still two down in the bottom, which I can hit. It's like, I don't need too many earth levels with Fina. I just want to unlock Speedy more than anything. It's like, once I unlock Speedy, that's like, think of, think of haste from FF, basically. So I can then majorly boost characters, like, speed at the bottom there, which would give me a huge boost while grinding. Although then again, maybe I should do wraps. Uh, 
No, because if I do... If I do... Wait, actually, can I use Fireball with his other weapons? You know what? I might... Might, might, might be able to use Fireball with his other weapons. I'm not sure. I hope I can, but I don't think I can, unfortunately. I just need to hurry up and get to the next area, though, to get another magic for Wrath. Because I think I have a Mana Egg. I think I've got a Mana Egg right now, and I know I get another Mana Egg very, very soon. If I can get those two Mana Eggs before I lose access to this forest, then we're going to be golden, pretty much. Well, there's another Earth level. Which means, unfortunately, I'm not going to gain another one right now, am I? This chameleon's gonna die as well. Oh, Rap should have gained more levels by now, though. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I suppose it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Oh, did you really have to do that to me? That wasn't nice. Right, let's just murder them. Yeah, we'll just murder them now, get it done with. It's like, I wanna I wanna go and get the other magic for rap. Not bad, eh? Not bad, eh? <clears throat> oh, God, excuse me. Feels like oh, someone's stuck in my throat. Okay, so Fina got a bit of earth, so she got two levels. Rap only got one level, but he is close to another one. That's not too bad, I suppose. That's that's fine. We can we can live with that. Right, rap, where are you? His sword's level 10. I need it up to 25. Ouch. God damn it. And I do need uh, fire. Right. Well, we do actually have everything from this section of the forest now. But rather than moving ahead to the next zone, I'm going to go and make a backup save first. Because I don't want to lose, you know, all the uh, all the levels that I just got, basically. So we're going to go back to the save point in the third zone. We're going to save. And then we're going to go through to the next area. Because again, I, I don't want to lose access to the spot. So what I'm going to do is we're going to keep this safe very, very, very safe. Okay? Like by safe, I mean I'm actually going to put it like below all these saves. So we're going to put it here. Just so that we don't, you know, accidentally overwrite it or anything like that. It's like I need to, I need to make sure I keep that save safe. Because I cannot lose access to this area. At least not until I've done my grinding anyway. It's like it would be, as I say, like it would be alright if I wasn't going to do Tower of Temptation. But I am. So we do need to get like a big boost. Oops. Yeah, we do need to get a big boost, unfortunately. It's like you might think I'm ridiculously overpowered right now. Uh, uh Tower of Temptation would eat me seven different ways at my current stats. It would murder me, unfortunately. Right, I do need a fire level of rap though, so we're just gonna let him do the murdering for us with Burn Flame and Burn Flare. When he eventually speeds up. Alright, let's use Burn Flare first. Might as well. Yeah, 100 million degrees, and yet they still somehow survive. Actually, they might not. Yeah, I didn't think they would survive a burn flare. They are weak to fire, after all. Right, now, do I actually have a mana egg on me? Okay, one more one more cast, one more cast for wrap, and then we're done. Uh, mana egg, mana egg, mana egg. Come on, there has to be a mana egg somewhere. No, I don't have a mana egg. What? Oh, shit. Okay, that's not good. That, mm. okay, okay, uh, I need to, shit, I need to think which weapon I'm, uh, which weapon, which magic I'm going to get for for him. Nikita, you know, I've got a couple of guests. We heard that you have guests, but we sure didn't hear about them being short eared guests. You'd never get against the village law to allow outsiders in, would you? Eh, screw you. Yeah, these guys are my guests. Shut up. Oh, man. Throwing his weight around like that. 
Uh, right, go see what your grandpa has to say. Uh, how about no? How about no? Alright. Uh, let's see. Well, I need a new weapon. So I do need a new knife. Uh, I'll buy two of them. One for Rap, one for Fina. Uh, don't need that sword. That sword's bad. Uh, I do need a mace. So we'll buy one of them. Um, snake whip. I've already got a whip. Catfish whip. Uh, I mean, it is attribute water. That might be good for Fina. That might help my leveling. And boomerang. I don't need to care about that. I don't have an... Actually, I do have an axe. Alright, so what about armor? Uh, may warp on damage. That's the armor that can drop, by the way, from the chameleons. So I'm not going to buy that. Instead, what I am going to do is we are actually going to go ahead and upgrade everybody's equipment now. It's like, it's been a very, very long time since I've upgraded this equipment. So that's why we are going to go ahead and do it. Uh, actually, I'm not going to buy Swallow Hats. Uh, 35 move. Okay, well, that's always for Justine. But it's better for Fina and it's better for Rap. So yeah, we'll get that too. Huh. My gold's actually gone down quite a lot. Oh yeah, the LA shields are ridiculously expensive and I just bought three of them. Whoops. Well, at least I'm going to do some chameleon grinding, so it's not the end of the world, right? I uh, don't need any of them, and I do not have any mana eggs. Uh, right, let's sell off all the uh, all the crap that I have. Uh, right, Black Bottle can go, Tree Amulet I need to keep keeping that, that can go, Whistle can go, Half Weed go, Watchall can go, Resurrection can go, I'm going to keep that, that can go, go, keep, go... Yeah, go. Ghost knife. Yeah, I'll keep that ready for when the characters get a little bit stronger. Red pill, go. Cookies, go. Honey, go. Vaccine, go. Right, okay. So, uh, <coughs> I do need to get the other mana egg. Um, but I don't even have one in my stash, do I? Or do I? No, I don't have one. Right, okay. Well, shit. Shitty shit shit shit. Oh yeah, I can't even use the in actually, can I? We can still save though. We we can still save, which is fine. So we're gonna save. And then I will do Everything here in Kafu. I'll do the next area. And then we'll go back to Chameleons. I'm just trying to think, like, what, what can I get with Wrap? And is it really important that I actually get it? Um, uh, well, thinking about it, honestly, not really. <coughs> Excuse me. Like, I could, I could get some magic for him. Like, I could get wind or earth. Oh, actually, wait, when should I get water for him? I need to, I need to have a think about that. I might need to get water. Now, the first one can definitely be wind or earth. Earth would give him more strength, which I don't really want. Um. Mm, mm, and then... Hmm. I mean, I could get wind. Well, there's not really much point in that, is there? Well, either way, I can't really do much for now. In fact, you know what? You know what? We're just gonna go back to the chameleons. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna go back to the chameleons. I'm not gonna bother with the mana egg for now. We're going to just leave that for now. It's like we can we can sort that out later. That's not that's not a big issue. So yeah, we'll we'll leave that. It's fine. 
Oh wait, yeah, they're still on all, so whoops. Uh, oh wait, yeah, wraps only one... Oh yeah, I can't, I didn't, I wasn't able to heal, was I? But this should give me f fireball now. Come on back for more. Should do anyway. If we can get fireball with wrap... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. There we go, there's fireball. Right, wrap has a sword equipped. I need to... I need to check if Rap can use that with any weapon. Right, let's just defend with Fina. I need Rap to get a turn. Right, fireball. Damn. Range only. Honestly, I, I force as much, but, you know. I was, I was hopeful. I was hopeful, okay? It is what it is. So... Hmm, yeah, I think what we're gonna do is we're just going to level Rap's weapons first, which means I need to, no, I'll keep the chain jam on him, actually. Yeah, I'll keep the chain jam on him, and then I can just do normal attacks with Rap. Right, what does Fina need? Um, Fina definitely needs a lot of earth levels, so I can do some of Fina's earth while doing Rap. And Justine, well, I suppose I probably should start on Justine's wind magic as well. Yeah. Because, I mean, Justine's weapons will be super easy to do. Oh, wait, why have I just gone straight back to the food? Like, I might as well kill the alligators now, hadn't I? Uh, the chameleons now. Go away, pupils! God damn it. God freaking damn it, man. Yeah, so if I start with Earth for Justine, no, Wind for Justine, Earth for Fina, Weapon for Rap. So I might as well just put Rap on play fair. Justine and Fina on manual. There we go. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get Rap's weapons just up high enough. So that we can actually get his his final weapon skills. Which means sword needs to be crap art or what level do we need does he need to be again? Um <coughs> Right, where is he? Okay, so Sword needs twenty-five, knife needs twenty-four. That'll be very, very quick, that will. That honestly won't take very long at all. Especially as we start farming the chameleons here. And because it's still low level, even these pupas will actually give Rap a good amount of EXP. So we have no need to worry there at all. Uh, Justine. Yeah, just Hell Slash, why not? So it's going to be Hell Slash. Uh, Tremor. And normal attacks with Rap. Yeah, that's, that sounds like a plan to me. Sounds like a very good plan. And then once we get Quake with Fina, we could potentially use that as well. But I don't really want to take Fina too high. But I think... Oh, should I level her knife? No, no, I'm not going to level Fina's knife now. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave Fina's knife now. Simply due to the fact, right? There is something freaking amazing later. Like, just hands down insanely good later. So there's no point in doing Fina's knife for now. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to get Rap's knife and sword just up enough to unlock the skills that I need. And then we'll go from there. Yeah. That's that's what we're going to do. Right, come on, chameleons. Where are you? Chameleons. Chameleons. Where are you? Oh, you son of a... There they are. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. No, 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 no. Okay, we got them. We got them. It's fine. It's all fine. It was all part of the master plan. Alright, so Rap can attack them normally. Fina. Realistically, I probably should do, like, Fire Whip first. Just to get a whole bunch of Fire and uh, fire levels for extra Wit. Same, kind of, with Whip. Like, that would make Fina incredibly, incredibly fast. Mm, but I still want to do Earth first. Because a Fire Whip still only, like, still does zero damage on some of them. Which means we're not actually getting EXP for them. Because Fire Whip is a very, very good skill in that... If we hit every enemy there, she would gain a level per use. Because each enemy that we damage with Fire Whip is 32 
EXP, meaning all four is 128. It is better than justing. So that's why we definitely want Fina able to damage everything, pretty much. That's why we're actually going to get her a few Earth levels. We're only going to go up to, like, 20 Earth, though. We're not going to go, you know, balls to the wall on that. Because that would be incredibly, incredibly silly, basically. Alright, more Tremor. But yeah, if we just get Earth up to around 20, you know, learn, learn all the skills with her and that, and then we'll be fine. Might actually... Hmm. See, I don't know... I'm having a few different minds on what I should be grinding, to be honest. Like, I know what I should be grinding. I'm just trying to think of the best way to do it. Because there are, there are methods later which I really, really want to show off. And if I just max everything here, I'm not going to be able to do that. So maybe... Maybe if I just go to like 80 on everything, actually. Yeah, maybe, maybe just 80 on everything. That could work. Well, 80 on everything bar Earth. Earth, I do not want to get too high on like any character, basically. Earth, Earth, I want to keep low. So yeah, if I just get like, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. If I just get like 80 to everything, Earth, if I, try and keep around like 20 for Fina. Obviously with Justin there's there's no two ways about it. His earth is going to be 99 at the end of this. Same with his fire and same as his like all his weapons basically. There's there's no two ways about that. But <coughs> I could 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 save his wind. Well then again no because of the MP Maybe I might need the MP from the levels. I'm not quite sure on that one. Hmm. So I definitely need to start leveling. Actually, let me try wrap skills. See how much I get there. Chain gem for tree amulet. Let's see how much EXP we can get there. I'm just going to start spamming all of wrap skills now. See which one gives us the most EXP. So what I'll do is I'll use one of rap skills and then I'll use like Dragon Cut and Fire Whip. No, let me out. Oh, okay. Well, rather than Fire Whip, actually, I'll still use Tremor with Fina. Come on, come on to the forest. I saw you. Urgh! I hate these chameleons, man. I freaking hate chameleons. They're messing with me, dude. They're messing with me. See, this is... Even though they're really, really good for farming, they are freaking annoying to fight. All right, come here, come here, come here, come here. There we go. And there's still one more set left after this as well. Right, let's turn auto battle off for wrap. Justine, you can just do a dragon cut, buddy. Secret move. Dragon, dragon King, King Slice! Hmm. Should I unlock Justine's final skill here? I don't know. Hmm. Right, Fina. Let's try a fire whip. I want to see how much it does to them. Like, I have gained a couple of earth levels. Discutter. That might work for me, actually. That, that might actually work for me. Okay, still only two hit, unfortunately. Damn. Like, Discutter could be really, really good for me. Let's see how much EXP Rap got on there. Like, we hit two, so I can easily work out how much it's going to be for four, and how much it's going to be per hit. It's so like, we double it for hitting all four, and we half it for hitting just one. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, Fina, you can just attack. Oh, no, I don't. I don't want Rap to do anything. Um. Eh, let's burn. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll just do a burn. Actually, Justin, yeah, Justin can murder it. That's fine. Let's do four cut. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I should I should actually be using four cut to level for Justin. So I can level his wind instead of his... Ew. See, that's just me going back on autopilot, that is. That's actually just me going back on autopilot. Because, look, that's one four cut. Let's take a look at how much wind the XP he got there. Because Justin had not used the Howl Slash. And 20. Okay, that, that's not too bad. That, that's not too bad at all. I can definitely level that there. Uh, we're about to gain... Oh, so Rep only got 8 per hit on Discorder. 
Um, I mean, it's not too bad. Like, yeah, it's not, it's not too bad, but I would have to get all of them lined up, unfortunately, which is easier said than done. Well, we'll, we'll sauce it. We'll sauce it. It's like, I will figure it out eventually. For now, though, let's go recover and save. Because we're going to be ending this one right here, guys. It has been a long one. But still, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, then please be sure to smash that like button and drop a comment down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. As always, though, everybody, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all soon.